Konami deletes post announcing Silent Hill 2 Remake was designed for modern audiences. Huh? Isn't it? Like, didn't they remove a, like, a, like they change out the person's clothing? Like the blonde yep. chick? Yep. They yep. changed yep. clothing. They made characters really ugly. Uh, and they did some other forms of censorship. So even though it's, it, it does look like a good game. My husband actually bought it. He's enjoying it. He never played the original. Um, you know, I, I think that it is a good way to introduce people into it. But like, I'd rather everybody just play the original because even mm -hmm. the camera limitations at the time, they did it on purpose because of technical limitations. But that actually added to the charm and the intent of it all in terms of storytelling. So I, I don't know. I'm I'm torn on it. And then on top of that, they also hired uh, consultants because I guess they didn't have any confidence in themselves. And one of the people on the team is very anti-gamer, despite all of his content being around gaming. So I don't I don't know. It, it's really weird. Stuff's not adding up. I just don't support anybody who does any form of censorship. Yeah, I agree. I I, I think that's the reason why. Like um. Like we, we do know that Nintendo censors stuff too, right? Mm -hmm. Uh like like I remember before you can look up um, you know, Princess Peach's skirt and all of a sudden there's a dark void in uh in Brawl. I'm like, what's going on? Right. And whenever you were shock Samus, that's when I first found out Samus is a girl. Is because when you shock Samus, oh, yeah, it shows yeah, yeah. A, it shows it doesn't show that, skeleton, it shows a female. That's form. how I found out too. That's how I found like, out. Well, too. <laughs> and then and then, uh, and, and, and of course, uh, freaking uh, Sakurai, a piece of crap, was like, oh, the reason why we don't have my Shiranui in Smash Ultimate because Smash is for good little boys and little girls. Like, bitch, we watched my Shiranui in Smash Brothers. So they, they did the censorship at the ground level because of American regulation. That's, That's what's happening. Crap. Yeah. Otherwise, if it if it wasn't because of American regulation, if it wasn't because of our, our ESRB system, mm -hmm. it would still it come over with them doing whatever they want. But they're literally being told creators are being told in Japan at the ground level, hey, since we're going to sell this in America, we might as well just, you know, censor it here, too. So it's ruining Japanese storytelling. It's ruining uh, anything that might, you know, get distributed elsewhere on a, on a large scale. Wait, so you're saying that the Pyra Mithra censorship that's in Smash Brothers was deliberately done because of U.S. fuckery? Yeah. Uh, okay. I be, Because I, I know about the Fire Emblem Awakening with Tharja's uh, nice butt cheeks being covered by this little paper in mm -hmm. uh, in, in the in American D, uh, 3DS version, but that's that's garbage. I, I hate it. I hate any time anytime they're trying to censor, censor stuff like that. Didn't they? For this game, they also censored the nurses, right? There, yeah, they did some changes. I, I didn't look too much into it. I just saw that they did censorship and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> so like, I didn't look too far into it. I haven't seen um, enough side-by-sides. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for, because sometimes there are some YouTubers who, who will actually show original gameplay and then the, the remake of it. And, and they'll, it's all silent and, the, and they just do the gameplay and then like try to mirror everything for what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so usually I go through and I watch those to get, the full context of it, but I, yeah. I haven't just looked too much into this because there's also been so much other stuff going on too. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. At the end of May, Konami published on a uh, post on Exit since it was been deleted, where it announced that see how the Bloober team devs working on Silent Hill Two preserved authenticity while adapting a horror classic for modern audiences. The post included that a video that featured a game's a lead producer. I'm not going to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce that. Globe stating, I think the biggest change that we've had was actually how to make the game approachable for newcomers who have not played the original, but at the same time to retain the familiarity of the game that players remember from 20 years ago. Uh, the design, uh, creative designer and lead director, uh, <laughs> Leonard, uh, our goal from the very beginning was to maintain the game's atmosphere while modernizing the gameplay in competitive in uh, 2024. Okay, if they're just doing it for like control reasons, up the graphics and just like making things look really good, I think everyone would be okay with it. But if they're changing things, like, like, I, 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 like I, I understand why they did what they did to Tifa, okay? Because of the stupid ethics department at Square Enix, you know, oh, they're gonna, you know, you know, she's a fighter, so it makes sense for her to be in a sports bra. It's like, no, it's it all isn't. American, by the way. Their ethics department is run by 
Americans. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That that doesn't make sense That's now because I thought, yeah, I thought it was yeah. Japanese internal ethics department. Uh, yeah. So they they got word from I think I think Sony was the one who actually influenced it. I'm not sure. It's all rumors, but um, Square Enix has American staff and American Ugh. influence staff. So yeah, but uh, yeah, and they do it all for American reasons. It's not because it's not because of Japan. It's th this this kind of stuff is all American related. Oh, then it sort of it sort of does make sense with the whole Dragon A, uh, the Dragon Quest thing that came out like last week or like a week, like two weeks ago. Yeah, where the creators. No, so, so it does. So so the, they're telling them they're telling Japanese creators that you know th these rules are because of America, but they're telling the Japanese creators you have to censor it, you have to do these things, you have to change it. Yeah, and so they're just like, okay, you're my boss. I I will make the change. So man, yeah. I yeah. do want to play it, like because I've never played any of the originals. Like I've seen my cousin play it. Like I, I, I I've Hill? never played him. Yeah, Silent Hill. And Go I, I never even watched the, I didn't do, watch the movie either. Do the, oh my god, watch the original, watch the original movie. The second one's okay, uh, but definitely play the originals. As the Room is my personal favorite. That's the fourth one. Uh, my yeah. all-time favorite song in the world comes from from the Room. Um, but yeah, just. They they cannot make games like they used to. The technical limitations placed on developers back then created so much unique charm to mm. problem solving, to being able to to tell as much of the story as they could on such you know tiny hardware. So um, I think that even if the remake is great, it still doesn't adhere to the charm and what made the original so special. Yeah, I do yeah, want to go back and, and play. I hear you know? this one is a lot longer gameplay wise because they added so much gameplay mechanic. Or it's because they're not following the fixed camera angle anymore. Yeah. I think the length is double from the original. I think you can finish Silent Hill 2 in like eight hours, I believe. This mm -hmm. one you have to like you have to spend like double. And yeah, well, I sent a link in private chat, the very first link. You can mm -hmm. see mods are already kicking in <laughs> if you want to if you want to show it to chat. But you're still giving money to the developer to be able to buy it. Mm. That's the only crappy thing. But mm. I'm I'm a big purist like that. Like I don't want to give people money. Now I don't put limitations on my husband. As long as he's having fun with whatever he's purchased, everybody's fine. If he's not having fun, then I'm extra angry. <laughs> but yeah. so he 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 does seem to be having fun, but he also doesn't know all of this. He's very normie. I'm I'm very connected. He doesn't even have like a Twitter account or anything like that. So um, he, he keeps me grounded, though, in terms of the way that I view the world because he gives me that normie access. Yeah. So, you know, I, it, it makes for a really unique household in that sense, too. Yeah. Uh, but here, here's the thing, though. Yeah, I think the Angela that we deserved is not the one we're seeing on screen right now. Mm -hmm. I think the Angela that we that we we, we deserved is this one. This is the Angela we deserved mm. in Silent Hill 2 Remake and not the man with the wig that he gave yeah, us. Yeah, not, uh, not the... Who's the David Duchovny. <laughs> <laughs> right, the woke virus destroys everything it touches. All right. This is... I 100%... I percent oh, <laughs> Okay, I 100% agree with this is because this is what we should have gotten. All right. I yes. think this... I think this... <laughs> this should have... Silent Hill would have sold so many copies it would have been it would have been hilariously awesome seeing her run around with her fat titties. I, I already see first mm. descendant mod characters being put. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually really funny. The yeah. hot first descendant characters are being placed as models yeah, in cutscenes. But, but look, I, I I'm not saying that. It's just this. She does. She looks so weird. The girl, on, the, the the one on the right, she looks so weird and i think it's done purposefully to make her look not attractive in any way yeah i don't know it's, she yeah, has but... to be for she has to be somewhat attractive given her horrible horrible backstory i just found i think i was like do, reading the story of silent hill 2 like her backstory yeah it, the everyone here has really shitty backstories but she but given her character she cannot be ugly for mm -hmm. her backstory to be to happen that's what i'm gonna say yeah yeah it's wait wasn't there a thing okay i know that she gets raped right mm -hmm. yeah yeah i would not rape her <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.